Today we're going to learn about inbreeding depression. So inbreeding depression is whenever there's not a big population in a small area and the individuals are faced with the fact of if they want to reproduce, they have to do it with a close relative, like brother, sister, or their mom, aunt, uncle. It gets kind of weird and we're about to show you why. So we're about to do this little example here with some snakes. So here we have a little girl snake, just kind of chilling out, you know, having a good time. And we're going to say that this girl snake's genotype has a capital A, which means it has a healthy genotype for that A. But it, this little snake also has a lowercase a, representative of something called a deleterious disease or something that is going to cause a negative impact in the life and possibly even kill the snake. But since it has a big A and a small A, it's not affected, but it just it's a carrier of that disease. So we're going to call this little snake Sally. All right, Sally slither around the ground, sees this fine looking young snake, Billy over here. And Billy's genotype is a two capital A's. That means he's completely healthy, he's not a carrier, not affected by the disease at all. Sally and Billy meet up, they decide they want to have some kids. They're going to have three kids. So what these lines mean is just that these two, Sally and Billy, meet up and these are going to be their kids. So the first kid down here, her name's Susie. Susie happens to be, well before we get there, let's show the possibilities of what these kids could be and let's do something called a pedigree or a Punnett square, I meant to say. Alright, so this is a Punnett square, so let's say theoretically if Billy up here has two capital A's, completely healthy, and then we're going to have Sally over here has a capital and a lowercase. So let's say that Billy and Sally have four kids. That's what the four boxes are for. One kid could have two capital A's, completely healthy. That's good. Another one has two capital A's. They're completely healthy. And the way I'm doing that is if you look at this A and that A, you have two capitals. This A, that A, two capitals. So now we get down here and we have an uppercase and a lowercase, so not affected but a carrier. Same thing, upper and lowercase, not affected but carries the disease. So let's say Susie got lucky. Susie got lucky, has two capital A's, completely healthy. All right, let's have another one. This is Julie. Better put an IE so it's not July. All right, Julie didn't get as lucky because Julie has a capital A and a lowercase. Julie's a carrier. And the last one, we'll call him Johnny. And Johnny didn't get very lucky neither. He's also a carrier. So I, what I haven't told you yet is that these snakes live on an island all by themselves. So they want to reproduce, they want to have kids and have offspring. So Julie and Johnny say, you know what? This is kind of weird, but we're going to have to do what we got to do. They're going to inbreed. And they're going to have one kid whose name is Trevor. All right, so let's do another Punnett square to see what their children look like. All right, so up here is Johnny. And he's a capital and a lowercase, which means he's a carrier, right? And here's Julie, also a carrier. So let's say if they were to have four children, one of them is going to be completely healthy. Not a carrier, got super lucky. Another one right here is going to be a carrier, not as lucky. Here we have another carrier. Uh-oh, last kid, two lowercase a's. That's bad news. That means that they're going to get the disease. Trevor, sadly, got the disease. 
That's where you don't inbreed.